10 Best Picks Presents the Top 10 Best Ultra Wide Monitors. Starting at number 10, LG 34G L750B. The LG 34G K950 FB is a very good monitor that provides ample screen space for productivity work as well as delivering a great gaming experience. It has a 21:9 aspect ratio, a 1440p resolution, and its IPS panel has excellent viewing angles, so the image looks good regardless of where you sit. It has an excellent response time and an optional black frame insertion feature that can further improve motion clarity, and its FreeSync support also works with recent NVIDIA graphics cards. There's HDR support, although the performance is limited by its peak brightness, and like most IPS monitors, it has significant black uniformity issues and a poor contrast ratio that makes it less ideal for dark rooms. Luckily, it has an exceptionally low input lag and a 144Hz refresh rate to provide incredible responsiveness when gaming. The LG 34G K950 FB has a fairly simple design. It has thin bezels on all sides, and its wide V-shaped stand doesn't take up a significant amount of desk space. There are some red accents on the stand and on the back monitor, but it's fairly minimal and won't look out of place in a professional office environment. The stand supports the monitor, but there's still a bit of wobble when nudged. The feet are fairly thin, leaving you more desk space. The LG 34 GK 950 FB is a good monitor for most uses. It's a great choice for office use, especially in a brighter environment, and it has excellent screen real estate, so you can have multiple windows open side by side. It's also a great gaming monitor, as it has a fast response time, low input lag, and support for FreeSync variable refresh rate. However, it isn't well suited for dark rooms due to its poor contrast ratio and bad black uniformity, and while it supports HDR, it can't get bright enough to make highlights pop in HDR movies. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At number 9. LG 38G L950GB He LG 38G L950B is the best ultrawide monitor with native G-Sync support we've tested. It has a 38-inch screen with a 3840x1600 resolution, which results in roughly the same pixel density as a 27-inch 1440p monitor. Its curved screen makes it easier to see the sides and helps deliver a more immersive gaming experience. It has decent reflection handling and impressive peak brightness, so visibility shouldn't be an issue even in the brightest settings. It has remarkable motion handling. Its response time is exceptional, and you can overclock its 144Hz refresh rate up to 175Hz, resulting in fluid motion and incredible responsiveness. It has native G-Sync support, and it's compatible with FreeSync. It's decent for gaming in HDR because it can display a wide color gamut and it gets decently bright to bring out some highlights. Unfortunately, it's not the most ideal for dark rooms because it has a low contrast ratio that makes blacks look gray. Also, the stand only allows for tilt and height adjustments. On the upside, it has plenty of features like a picture-in-picture picture-by-picture mode, two USB ports, and even some RGB bias lighting on the back of the monitor. In addition to having a flicker-free backlight, it has a blue light filter to help reduce eye strain. Overall, it's an impressive gaming monitor that's worth checking out. Number 8 of my list. Gigabyte G34WQC. The Gigabyte G34WQC is a great budget gaming monitor with an ultra-wide screen. It has a 34-inch screen with a 21:9 aspect ratio, providing incredible immersion in video games and plenty of space for multitasking. It's well suited for bright and dark rooms, as it gets bright enough to fight glare and can produce deep blacks. It has exceptionally low input lag, great response time, and a 144Hz refresh rate, delivering a gaming experience that feels smooth and responsive. It supports FreeSync natively and is compatible with NVIDIA's G-Sync as well. Unfortunately, it has poor ergonomics and sub-par viewing angles, which isn't ideal if you want to share content or play co-op games. It gets decently bright in HDR, but the color gamut is somewhat limited. 
The Gigabyte G34WQC has a simple design that looks almost identical to the Gigabyte G32QC, but in an ultra-wide format. It has the same V-shaped stand and thin borders. The stand takes up a fair amount of desk space, but it supports the monitor well and doesn't wobble much. The Gigabyte G34WQC has poor ergonomics. Due to its ultra-wide format, it's somewhat expected that it can't rotate to portrait mode. Unfortunately, it also lacks swivel adjustment. The Gigabyte G34WQC is a great gaming monitor. It has low input lag, and it delivers smooth gamma play with its fast response time and 144Hz refresh rate. It has both FreeSync support and G-Sync compatibility to reduce screen tearing. It has a high contrast ratio to produce deep blacks, making it a good choice for gaming in the dark. It isn't ideal for co-op gaming, though, as it has poor ergonomics and narrow viewing angles. Coming at number 7. Dell U4919DW. The Dell UltraSharp U4919DW is a good 49 IPS monitor with wide viewing angles and an excellent dual QHD resolution. The high native resolution is excellent for multitasking and offers a more immersive gaming experience, and like many Dell monitors, it has great accuracy out of the box. Unfortunately, it is limited to a 60Hz refresh rate, and it doesn't look as good in a dark room. When displaying non-native resolutions, the input lag is very high, which is disappointing. The design of the Dell UltraSharp 49 is very similar to the Dell U3818DW, but with a white aspect ratio. The stand is solid and supports the monitor well, and it has a good height and tilt adjustment, but it can't swivel. Like most Dell monitors, the U4919DW has great build quality and shouldn't cause any issues. The overall design is very clean and professional and looks great in any setting. The stand is well built, solid, and doesn't take up too much space. It is quite thin, so you can still place small objects on it. Given the size of the monitor, it still wobbles a bit, but this isn't too distracting. The U4919DW has a mediocre height adjustment, but a great tilt range, so it is easy to place it in a comfortable viewing position. Unfortunately, it doesn't swivel, and naturally it can't rotate to a portrait orientation. The Dell U4919DW is a good monitor for most uses. It has great wide viewing angles, good peak brightness, and an excellent color gamut. Unfortunately, it doesn't look as good in a dark room, and gamers may be disappointed by the 60Hz refresh rate and lack of variable refresh rate. At number 6, Dell U3818DW. The Dell U3818DW is the best ultra-wide monitor for office use we've tested. This 38-inch monitor is great for multitasking because it has a 21-9 aspect ratio that gives you more horizontal space than a typical 16-9 display, which means you can have more windows open side by side. It has wide viewing angles so that the image remains accurate at the edges when you sit up close or when viewing from the side. It stands out for its amazing features. It has plenty of connectivity options, including four USB 3. 0 ports and a USB-C port with DisplayPort Alt mode. The latter delivers up to 95W of power, which should be enough to charge most laptops or mobile devices. It has a picture-in-picture picture-by-picture mode that lets you display two input signals at once, and you can control both devices with one set of peripherals using its integrated KVM. While its 3840x1600 resolution may seem odd, it comes out to the same pixel density as a 27-inch, 16-9, 1440p display, so images and text look sharp. Unfortunately, it isn't meant for gaming, because it has a 60Hz refresh rate, bad response time, and no VRR support. Also, it doesn't get very bright, so it's best to avoid very well-lit sunny rooms. Its ergonomics are pretty decent for an ultrawide, it just doesn't rotate to portrait mode, which is expected. All in all, it's a very good office monitor that should meet most people's needs. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Samsung Odyssey G9. Last but not least is the 49-inch behemoth from Samsung their Odyssey G9. 
This monitor is one of a kind providing experts levels of response to the super ultra wide marketplace. That's right, this 49 inch monster comes equipped with a stunning 1440p screen resolution, alongside a 1 millisecond response time and 240Hz refresh rate. That puts this monitor alongside some of the best experts tailored monitors the market has to offer you know, if you remove the latest 360Hz monitors, that is. Aesthetically, I'm a huge fan of this monitor. The 49-inch curve is rated at 1000R, making it hugely immersive, no matter what title you're playing. Even generic browsing and light productivity tasks feel great on this thing. The rear of the monitor is a sea of aesthetic features, including a fully RGB vortex at the center of the stand that contrasts nicely with the white exterior of the panel itself. There is a lot of plastic used on this panel, but don't let that put your off it feels extremely robust and durable. Moving on to performance, the Odyssey G9 really does offer a superb experience. The 240Hz refresh rate is going to provide you with all the response you need to play the most demanding, fast-paced titles out there. That means competitive CSGO and COD are now a thing on super ultra-wide displays. Yes, this may not be the best monitor for those games, but you can select a custom resolution and use black bars if you really wanted to. A low 1 millisecond response time enables no ghosting occurs, and G-Sync provides all the liquidy smoothness you could want. Lastly, the 1000R curvature of the panel itself provides immersion like no other in this guide can. You get that hunkered sensation that really does make you feel a part of the game. For me, if you're in the market for a super ultra-wide gaming monitor, there really isn't anything out there quite like this. And whilst it isn't the cheapest monitor available, it definitely offers excellent value for money. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Acer Nitro XV340CK. If you want a good gaming experience without having to break the bank, the Acer Nitro XV340CK might be the perfect pick for you. Whilst it doesn't blow the doors off it definitely ticks a lot of the right boxes when it comes to value. Aesthetically, the Nitro is fairly limited and follows the trends set by older Nitro iterations. Its construction is heavy on the plastic, and features are few and far between. The stand doesn't offer a ton of versatility, and there is a bit of wobble throughout its design. That being said, I quite like the simplistic design of this monitor. It isn't overly gamey or boring, it feels like a nice balance between the two. Design aside, performance is where this monitor starts to create value. At the heart of this display lies an IPS panel that has acceptable colors right out the box. More impressive, however, is the 144Hz refresh rate and extremely low response time that pair together to provide a liquidy gaming experience, not matter what title you're playing. Furthermore, with low input lag and free sync support, this monitor doesn't suffer from annoying screen artifacts like ghosting and screen tear. Best of all, this monitor comes in at an absolute steal, around $400 cheaper than its closest rival in this particular guide. That makes the Acer Nitro XC430CK incredibly good value for money. At Number 3. LG 34GN850B. The LG 34GN850B343 ultrawide monitor is still one of the best gaming monitors I've used in a long time. 3440x1440 ultrawide resolution, 144Hz refresh rate, and a 1 millisecond response time, all wrapped up in a stunning IPS panel make this monitor our best ultrawide selection. The first thing that struck me with this monitor was how good it looks just sat there on the desk. The stand looks well built using decent materials and has good functionality with its ability to move up, down, tilt backward, forwards, and swivels left and right. For such a large monitor you'd expect a fair bit of wobble when gaming with it, this wasn't the case with the LG 34G and 850B though. The stand has been designed in such a way to eradicate any unnecessary screen wobble. Even when forced it was extremely sturdy which is always comforting when it comes with such a high price tag. The display itself is fantastic and provides DCI-P3 98% color gamut with display HDR400. The brightness is 320 candelas per m, and it has an 8-bit color depth which, when all paired together, produces a truly spectacular looking display for both gaming and media viewing. The monitor comes with G-Sync, so you won't have to worry about any screen tearing. 
The display when gaming was really smooth across all the games we tested it on and overall looked hugely impressive. Overall, I found this monitor superb for both gaming and working for long periods of time. The 1 millisecond 144HZ specs give gamers a highly immersive experience which they will not be disappointed with. Coming at number 2. Acer Predator X35. The Acer Predator X35 might be a little late to the party, rumored to be released much earlier than it actually did, but man has it made an entrance. If money is no object, you'll struggle to find a monitor that provides much more than the Predator X35. It really does tick all the right boxes. Thanks to the X35's price tag, it falls slightly short of the top spot in this best of guide. However, if we take price out of the equation, the X35 is by far the most powerful ultra-wide monitor in this guide. It offers a refresh rate of 200Hz which really does rival some of the best gaming monitors currently on offer. Alongside a high refresh rate, this monitor also offers a super quick 1 millisecond response time, providing a smooth overall gaming experience with almost zero ghosting in the most extreme of settings. Aesthetically, the Acer Predator X35 is in a league of its own, bringing a futuristic styling to the table that wouldn't look out of place on a spacecraft. Sharp angles contrast nicely with the smooth curve on the 353 display, creating a nice balance between gaming and everyday aesthetics. Design aside, it's hard to knock this monitor from a performance standpoint, it pretty much does it all. Quick response allows users to play fast-paced games without experience annoying artifacts such as screen tear and ghosting. With full-array local dimming, the X35 really does add a ton of extra detail to shadows and dark areas, also increasing the contrast ratio to 2501 as well. If you're looking for the best ultra-wide monitor out there and don't mind spending a small fortune, the Acer Predator X35 will serve you well. And number 1. Alienware New AW2720HF. The Alienware AW3821DW is the latest high-performance gaming monitor to come out of Dell's arsenal. It comes equipped with all the high-end features you could expect from a top-of-the-line monitor, including a 144Hz refresh rate, true 1ms response time, and HDR600 certification. If you want the most well-rounded ultra-wide gaming monitor available, look no further. The AW3821DW comes equipped with Alienware's legend design language, also seen on their most recent laptops and desktops. It provides a stunning experience thanks to a 1800R37.53 curved panel that just breathes immersion. With a pale gray exterior and nicely thought out RGB, this monitor really is one of the nicest we've seen in some time. Looking at gaming performance, the AW3821DW really does tick all the right boxes. It has a highly responsive Nano IPS panel that not only showcases accurate color reproduction, but also provides you with the speed needed to play highly competitive titles like CSGO and COD. Furthermore, the HDR600 certification it comes equipped with adds a ton of detail to dark shadows and bright lights, giving you another level of immersion. Additional features and specs include a 3840x1600 screen resolution, 600 nit peak brightness, 10-bit color depth, and an extremely wide color gamut which is great for color-accurate productivity tasks. Ultimately, it's hard to say anything bad about this monitor. The only real negative I could find when testing it was the large amount of desk real estate it occupied. Other than that, this monitor is one of the best on the market, in any category. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.